Hi right, guys, welcome back to our nice little house. Uh, in this video, we're going to be texturing the house, which is putting in the shaders, which means putting in the materials. So I'm going to go to starter content, I'm going to go to materials, and I'm going to look for something that looks like tiles. Tiles are good. I'm just going to drag and drop. This process, I mean, it's it's easy. It's, it's straightforward, right? So I'm just going to place this. And as you can see, it kind of all lines up. Uh, it's, it's it's a treat to watch, right? Now, one thing I want to show you is if I can click one of these, I can actually do something called uh, I can change the U and the V, right? Now, U and V is something. It's like scaling for textures, right? So I can change this to two, and I can press apply, and as you can see, uh, the left to right got scaled by two, right? So it's a way to scale the textures if you want to. We've already done UV when it comes to uh, landscape coordinates. I think you guys already know how we changed the landscape coordinates UV, how we plugged it into the UV channel of all of those textures. That's exactly what we're editing here. One more thing which I think you guys need to know is that when you click on alignment, you can say align surface default, or you can do align surface planar, which basically aligns this uh, to all the surfaces that are around it. So this would, uh, if, I, if I select all of this and make it align surface planar, then it would all kind of line up with all the walls. We don't need that right now, so I'm just gonna say align surface default, right? So if, if your alignment of your texture is not perfect, play with these to figure out what you want. All right, so I got a nice little tile checkered floor. Um, and I think we're gonna make, I wanna make a small edit to this, right? Now obviously I don't wanna edit the core material. If I double click on this, I'll see this big thing and obviously I'm scared of screwing this up. So I'm gonna close this, I'm gonna right click, and I'm gonna create a material instance. Again, a material instance is a copy of an original material that I can use to make some small changes. So let's just call it shiny tile, right? Uh, in Unreal, you're supposed to use a naming convention which is M underscore something if you wanna call it, if, if it's a material, right? So I'm just gonna look at this nice little shiny tile. I think, uh, you know, I can change some of the properties. Uh, actually, I don't think I can change any of the properties. Well, they've not exposed any of the properties through the material. So let's not worry about it so much. Uh, let's just, you know, kind of stick with what we have. Uh, uh, probably I'll show you the how to make changes to the materials when we start using Quixel, which actually exposes or allows us allows the instance material with a lot of scalar parameters that we can play around with. So we got the tiles here, and I'm gonna create something for the walls. I'm gonna maybe put concrete, concrete. Yep, so I can do this, do this. And by the way, this is not gonna texture the walls outside. The walls outside are still gonna be untextured. So, you know, prepare to kind of spend some time texturing everything and all the surfaces. This. It looks a little bit ugly, but that's because we're in unlit mode. When we go into lit mode, uh, obviously the lights will look good. It'll look a little more realistic than it currently is. Right now, it doesn't look so good. All right, so I'm just dragging and dropping everything. All right, so let's put on the window surface. We don't want the window surfaces to be untextured. I feel like Santa Claus just distributing gifts to all of these surfaces. Uh, okay, you know, I have a very powerful PC and it's still lagging because I'm streaming and doing Unreal Engine, so, yeah, it's tough. I don't think that's the right way to do tiling there, I think I should use this material. How is that thing, shiny tile? No, this should be good enough. Okay, where's that? Where is our concrete? Right now, just for coolness, just to be a little bit cool, we're going to use another texture for this. Um, the default, actually, let's use it for the ceiling. Well, the default starter content comes with some interesting materials. So I found this one material here called MTech Hextile Pulse. This is a pulsing texture. It's actually an animated texture. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty cool. Again, it doesn't look so good right now, but trust me guys, when we're done with the lighting, uh, this will look a lot nicer than you think it looks right now. Uh, let's put that in there. Okay, that should be good. So 
as you can see, we have this shady looking house and you know, it's not the greatest of houses. So let's add a little bit of lighting. Now I'm just going to remember the lighting is two meshes. Actually, we'll do lighting in the next episode. It's better to break things down, but we have this nice little house so far. And in the next episode, we're going to make it lit. Bye.